Welcome back guys. So I got another build update video. Uh, we got some parts that we've received from our friends uh, Chris over at Rise Fab Shop. Uh, we're going to open a package real quick, show you what they sent us, what we got going on, and the reason why we're doing this and adding this part. But real quick, there is a merchandise link below. If you guys will go down there, uh, click on that, check out the merchandise and stuff that we got going on. We have exactly 20 days before we leave for Utah. Um, if you can help us out, help support that trip, it's gonna be a long haul. We're gonna be out there for about a week and a half, and then we're coming back home. But that is the reason for today's video is our trip to Utah. So let's open this package and get this party started. So real quick, guys, if you're just tuning into the channel, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, hit that like button. Um, we greatly appreciate it. It helps us improve our algorithm, gets our videos out to more people. Use that as our shameless plug, just to let everyone know. We love our fans. We love to try to entertain you. Uh, we got more new merchandise coming out soon, as soon as we get back from the uh, trip from Utah. So, in our package from Rise Fab Shop, uh, I will leave a link below in the description uh, to these guys' website. Chris and them. Um, if you seek this as an option, a part, something that you want for yourself, it'd be a direct link on how do you obtain that. So check our box out, see what we got in there. Could save this for future packaging. So what I have right here is the Get it opened up real quick. So, I have the uh, catalytic converter uh, or the the, shit, the the dump pipe that comes from the turbo back all the way to where the exhaust hooks up, uh, eliminating the catalytic converter. But this portion right here is a resonator. And I will go into a few details real quick on why I am putting this on here and why I chose to go with this with the resonator. So, yeah, we'll go over this a little bit closer and I'll show you and then we'll do step by step of trying to get it off and get it removed. So if you watched our previous video uh, uh, with where we partnered with XDR, and we did the exhaust install with the muffler. So I still have the XDR exhaust. I have that muffler and stuff on. Now, the, I, there is nothing wrong with this exhaust. But the reason why I am putting that is for two reasons. The reason why it's got a resonator and stuff on it. So initially, we are going to Moab uh, in Utah. There is a very big problem out there right now with noise, uh, not just for Utah, but um, been watching this since last year, and there's been a lot of popping up where they're trying to eliminate not just UTVs now, but like everything, motorcycles, vehicles, and stuff like that. Um, so their biggest complaint is about the noise levels. So one thing that you can't control all the time, but you want to try to control overall is your exhaust noise. So I know that when I did the uh, on the uh, 19 X3 XRC with Rise Fab Shop, we went through a couple different variations of exhaust, um, going from you know a higher flow one to you know a quiet one. We did the shocker pipe and all that stuff. Well, ultimately, we found a really good solution for your quiet trail exhaust and that was combined with their muffler from stainless bros and a resonator where the catalytic converter used to be so we're going to try that out the exhaust right now is fine it sounds good it's not aggravating it's not annoying um i just want to try to bring it down a notch so i'm not being a nuisance and i'm not adding to the problem I love loud and proud, 
but there is an ever-growing problem and i've seen it since i started getting back into off-road since 2019 that the noise was a problem and i don't want to add to it the other part is is eliminating the catalytic converter why fuck epa and two no i'm just kidding not fuck epa but two um it's a fire hazard uh that thing gets so hot that if it something happens there's fuel lines and stuff back there like i could go through so many different scenarios but it retains a lot of heat and a lot of back pressure kills performance ruins fuel mileage so it is a safety hazard so guess what boom get rid of the catalytic converter so that's enough talking uh right, i'm gonna go ahead and get to getting this thing apart should be a very very easy uh install so here we go guys so right now i'm just going to go ahead and get all the shielding and stuff out of the way uh make it a little bit easier to work on because the worst part is these springs back here so i want some knuckle buster room Uh, the top and bottom bolts and the ones on the side are all 10 millimeters. So we made it to this portion of the product here. It's not taking that long to get the shielding out and away. And voila. So then holding our other heat shielding on, you've got let's see two clamps, one there, and then another one back up there. I'm gonna have an eight millimeter for those. It takes off that heat shielding, and then we will try to get the O2 sensor and mung and stuff out. We'll take all that apart, and then we're going to try to tackle these springs. Uh, springs are a severe pain. Well, that took a hot minute to get off. So if you look, the size comparison of the old one, and then what will be the new one, Let's see if we can look down in here. Let me get my flashlight. So, let me grab my flashlight real quick and we'll look down in here. So if you look down in here, it's the resonator, no restricting flow. I think the pipe is actually bigger. What he told me was uh, two and a half inch, maybe three. I don't know. So we'll get the other one up here and let you look inside of it. Aside from the pipe being bigger, you can see in there, hopefully, the catalytic converter. So that's a lot of restriction on your turbo, which is robbing you of natural performance and um, building up heat. So issues that i ran into so these little springs if you watched on our install video these little springs suck 
the first three wasn't that bad the one in the back which would be hooked to this right here on the top that one sucked it's pain um if you have a pair of pliers like these but they come out like pinchers i know those are supposed to be the golden ticket but i don't feel like driving wasting an hour driving to town even though i wasted an hour getting it off so to access your v-band if you don't have a bump seat uh this little panel right here that sits in between you that's how you get to your v-band and your turbo and stuff like that uh it's pretty easy no bolts no clips no nothing at all just pops in place so we're gonna go ahead and throw this on if i run into anything else that's gonna have to be modified changed or problems i will stop and note it so this little bracket right here that one is a little too tall for the pop diameter so it's offset it won't see it in there so what we're going to do is we're going to take this bad boy right here and we're going to give her the old whacker -oony. cut her down a little bit mm. So, we got her back on. Everything clearance is fine. Uh, right now would be a very good time to get your O2 sensor started in there. You don't have to tighten it up yet if you don't want to. Uh, we have the V-band. It's tight, but like, eh, it's not tight, but kind of snug uh, to where it holds it in place and it won't come apart. And so, I know that Rise Fab Shop offers... Uh, a different v-band clamp a newer one i have seen and read experience from the 19 um when we did the exhaust before that if you take the v-band off more than twice then it becomes no good it will start loosening itself up even with the nylon nut so considering it's just this one time now i shouldn't have to take it apart again uh, i'm not going to replace or upgrade the v-band clamp yet uh, if I do take the exhaust loose again, I will get an upgraded V-band clamp. They're only, I don't know, 20 bucks. It's, it's added security. Don't quote me on that price. Could have went up due to COVID and demands and such. But we're going to go ahead and get this thing buttoned up. And the worst part, springs. So let's get it. Got everything bolted back up together. Uh... I don't know if I mentioned before, I ended up having to take this muffler off, which was just four bolts, the XDR muffler, uh, four bolts to move it around to make the springs a little bit easier. But I do have all four springs back on. Everything is seated. I gotta plug my O2 sensor back in. My V-band is tight. Everything's ready to rock and roll. So the next day we're gonna do is a fresh cold start and see how this baby sounds. that is going to conclude this episode 
again shout out to my boy chris with rise fab shop for hooking me up uh understanding what i needed for this moab prep uh, again his link will be down in the description um also don't forget like subscribe share uh, leave a comment below helps us with our algorithm and you know the merchandise link help us out uh moab less than 20 days here we go Peace out, everybody.